CBS 6 is celebrating the Richmond Black Restaurant Experience. And this week-long event is happening right now at 40 restaurants across our city. Our Candace Burns is live at Southern Kitchen now, one of the participating restaurants, and she has more about why this week is so important for the community. Candace. Leland, I've been here for about an hour and it smells so good. It's dinner time. I'm hungry. <laughs> this is an exciting <laughs> event. This event connects foodies with local establishments and hopes of promoting economic diversity. And organizers tell me the added visibility for the restaurants that they, the added visibility that they receive is a lifeline for some of them who are trying to make payroll. They're trying to keep their lights on. And we all know it's been a difficult few years with the pandemic. Some of us are still trying to get through the challenges of the present moment. And so this event is so necessary, especially right now. I'm here at Southern Kitchen. Southern Kitchen has been participating in the Black Restaurant Experience for the six years that it's been going. Shane Thomas is the owner. It's so good to be with you. I know you're really busy right now. That's all right. Welcome, 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 as I always say, welcome. <laughs> so welcome to the most exciting event that I've ever participated. I've participated in a lot of events. Ever? Honey. You've been on national TV. <laughs> I have participated in some of the events. I don't even want to name I participated in. But, you know, when you say it smells, you hangry. You need a Snickers. No, you need a fried piece of I fried need, chicken, no, I need baby. some catfish. Yeah, you need some catfish. <laughs> so, you know, six years strong and going. Richmond is ready to experience something they've never experienced before, the power of the black dollar. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, honey, that dollar is powerful. Yeah. She makes moves in ways you'll never understand. So, so, obviously, this is a great event for you. Why yes. is it such a great event? Why well, is this time so... on a serious note, because Miss Shane loves to have a little fun. I on a it. serious <laughs> note, this has been a rough two years for all of us. Mm -hmm. I have never in my lifetime, and I'm, I'm much older than you, I mean, I, by leaps and bounds, experienced something in this nature. So this is something that I think we were never prepared for as a restaurant industry. Some of us didn't survive it, and those of us that have survived it are barely making it right now. We did get funding, but it wasn't enough for the smaller businesses to be able to, to have a tourniquet on their blood, you know what I mean? So we're still bleeding. A lot of us are still trying to make it. So we, we are so excited for Richmond Black Restaurant Experience to get that little bit of help we need to come over that hump again. Oh, so wow. some of us will be able to pay our light bills, honey, pay our babysitters to keep them babies while we work. <laughs> some, of, some of us, honey, will be able to pay a lot of stuff. The food purveyors we've been trying to make arrangements on, the rent, the city meals tax, all the stuff that we are like barely making right. it to do right now. We pray and hope that some of us out here will be able to kind of withcome that nail. And I heard it's going well for you already. You have 100 reservations Yes, tonight. yes. Ms. Shane has a lot of reservations. I'm thankful. It takes a village to raise a child, as I always say. We're all in this together. There is no I in team. Remember I told you that. Michael Jordan could shoot all the three-pointers he wanted, but he couldn't do it without the rest of the team. Because uh -huh. in order to get to that final score, you need the whole team. So the team is here. We're here to win. Yeah. We're here to be a big part of something big, big, I'm big. I'm fired up. I'm fired up with you. And you're also <laughs> opening a new establishment. I want to make sure we tell everybody honey. about what you got going Woo! on across the street. Honey, the deuce, the double deuce, number two. Now, let me tell you something about that right there. That was open during pandemic, honey. I can barely pay my bills with that because that ain't got a body in it from the la in the last nine months. Miss Shana had no employees. If you need a job, come see me. If you need to work, come see me. <laughs> All, right. All of us need employees right now. If you need a job, every restaurant in this category. Anybody that bought into this, we need employees. We're making a plea to you tonight. If you need a job, every last restaurant on that list needs an employee right now. All right. Thank Please. you, Ms. Shane. They're rocking me. It was such a pleasure to talk to you. Yes. I know you're really busy. I'm never so. too busy for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I got so much energy. I got so much energy for you. Thank you so thank much. You. God Everybody, bless. it's a really fun week here, yes. um, and there's lots of great food for you to explore. I got a chance to grab dinner at one of the participating establishments last night with our Bill Fitzgerald and our Leland Pender. And we're going to show you where we went and tell you how great the food was. That's coming up at six o'clock. We'll also hear from an organizer who explains how some of the proceeds from this event are used to help other organizations outside of the restaurant industry in our community. That's all coming up for you at six o'clock. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Candace. And you can learn a lot more about several restaurant owners taking part in the Black Restaurant Experience because they shared their stories on our Eat It Virginia podcast. Mike Lindsay, owner of Lily Pearl and Pops Market on Grace, is growing his Richmond restaurant empire. Listen to his story on Eat It Virginia, episode one and episode 50 on WTVR.com or wherever you get your podcasts.